Choosing a niche might be the single most important factor that determines your success as a web designer. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to find the perfect niche for you to start making a consistent income. But do you really need a niche? Do you even know what a niche is? Because I bet most of you think a niche can only be restaurants, architects, dentists, and so on. But there's this entire other option that you've probably never thought of. In this video, we're going to go over, should you restrict yourself to a niche? What actually is a niche? And how to choose the perfect niche for you? So, should you restrict yourself to a niche? This is probably the first question you ask yourself once you chose to do web design. A lot of us have spent weeks and months going back and forth deciding what niche we want to specialize in. So if that's you, don't worry. But the goal of this video is to bring that down and set you on a path of success. Choosing a niche can be a game changer for your web design business for several reasons. When you specialize on a niche, you become an expert in that area. And clients are more likely to trust and hire specialists who deeply understand their industry or needs. Your workflow also becomes much more efficient and streamlined as you know exactly who you're reaching out to and what pain points and desires those clients have. And most importantly, the amount of competition is much smaller than if you were a generalist. Going from hundreds of thousands of competing web designers to just a few hundred or thousand, making it a lot easier to stand out. Now let's address the fear of limitation. You may be worried that by choosing a niche, you'll be missing out on other opportunities. However, it's important to remember that you can still take on projects that are outside of your niche if they align with your skills and interests. Also remember, your niche can evolve over time. You're not locked into it forever. As you gain experience and your interests change, your niche can adapt accordingly. And specializing doesn't mean you can't diversify your income streams within your niche. You can offer various services or products tailored to your niche's needs. So if you're still on the fence, I would recommend that you niche down. A niche doesn't just have to be in industries such as architects or restaurants. A niche can be separated into three categories, location, industry, and service. First off, location. As a location-based agency, you would pick an area, which could be your local town or city, a region, or sometimes an entire country. The benefits of this would be that you can build a longer and closer relationship with those businesses and its owners. As a resident of Antarctica, for me, that would be John. He's a penguin. With this option, the amount of competition will be much smaller and you could establish yourself as the expert web designer in that area. Therefore, your client acquisition will be much easier, not only for your SEO and marketing, but most of your clients will be coming through referrals or word of mouth. However, if you live in a city with large agencies as your competition or in a town with very few companies, it might be more difficult to establish yourself, therefore limiting the number of clients you can sign. Number two, industry. An industry-based agency is the most common way web designers niche down. Examples will be law firms, dentists, solar companies, or even startups. The great thing about this option is that you can position your brand as an industry expert. And just like with location, the amount of competing web designers will be much smaller. Think about it this way. If you own a house and want to build an extension to the back of it, would you rather hire a general builder or a company that specializes in extensions? That's right, the general builder specialists. You would choose the specialists. Additionally, you can combine your industry with a location, for example, plumbing companies in England. By positioning yourself as an expert in a certain field, your messaging, marketing, and especially your sales will become much clearer and you'll come off much more professional. The question I've received multiple times in my comments is, if I specialize in one industry, should I still take on clients from other industries? In my opinion, when you're starting out, absolutely. Not only do you gain new skills by designing and developing websites for a different audience and purpose, but you might enjoy working with that type of client or business even more. The only drawback could be that businesses outside of your selected industry won't approach you as they think you wouldn't work with them or that you're not a good fit. And third, service. When you niche down based on service, you're able to differentiate yourself from a lot of other web designers. For example, you could create websites whilst also being an SEO specialist. Or you could focus 100% on the design aspect and work primarily with developers or other agencies. We actually had this exact question come up in our latest Discord community call, where someone had a team of highly skilled developers, but didn't know what niche to choose. Trying to convince a client that they should choose you because you have great technical coding skills is going to be super challenging because a client doesn't care about how a website is built, but rather what results it will bring in for the company. 
Instead, we suggested that they should focus on working with agencies as they are more interested in having highly skilled developers building technical and powerful apps and websites. If you want to ask a question or join our next group call, join our Discord server, link is in the description. You could also specialize in sales funnels, landing pages, e-commerce sites, or include additional services such as AI chatbots, SaaS, or Google Ads. And again, to take it a step further, you could combine a service with an industry. For example, specialized funnels for builders, SEO for law firms, landing pages for fintech startups, and so on. I hope that you're starting to see that there are many different ways that you can differentiate yourself. Now that we know that you'll be niching down and what a niche is, how do we choose the perfect niche? I first want you to write down some questions and eventually answer them, of course. What are your passions and interests outside of web design? Identifying your personal interests can help you align your niche with what excites you. Now, you don't have to choose a niche that you are passionate about, but sometimes it can motivate you more, leading to more success and a happier work life. What web design skills or services are you best at? And if you haven't learned any skills yet, what would you enjoy most or be best at? Using your strengths and expertise will greatly benefit the work you deliver and therefore customer satisfaction and longer client relationships. Does the niche or client have a problem that you can solve? You need to position yourself as a problem solver and the clearer the problem they have, the easier it is to sell a solution. Do they have enough money to invest? People or businesses such as hobbyists, so artists and musicians, and side hustles like a clothing line just don't have the money to invest in a website. Sure, you could get your first free client, but it's not a good niche to pursue to get a consistent income. Are they selling high ticket items or large volumes? If a roofing company or architect can make five to $15,000 per customer, it's much easier to sell them a website or solution where three to $5,000 as it's an investment for them to land more clients. Are they already paying for these types of services? A niche that already invests in their online presence, so branding, social media, advertising is much more likely to invest in a great website. Are there enough prospects? If a niche only has 100 potential clients, the possibility of you having a consistent stream of work is very low. The more businesses there are in your niche, the more clients you can land. I know a lot of you were hoping for me to give you a list of the three best niches for web design, but in my opinion, a perfect niche doesn't exist. A niche that works great for me might not be a good match for you. But if you want to know what niches I think are great and niches that I think you should stay away from, let me know in the comments. I also want you to comment below what niche you have chosen or what niches you are currently thinking of pursuing. And if you want to discuss your niche or join our next group call, I'd love for you to join our Discord server, link is in the description. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of what a niche is and can be and how you can differentiate yourself from the competition. And as always, remember to maximize your luck. Bye.